Hey, what's up, y'all? If y'all feeling all this great content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you can get notifications. You're not tuned in to something super tight. Puffin' something sticky, nigga, I roll through the light Need to hear something real just to get me through the night I'm looking for them jackets cause I know they looking shite Know I'ma get some game tuned in with super tight Yeah, I get the low love from Big Bobo From the front seat, not no photos Already, baby, what it do is your big dog, Bobo Luciano. I want to thank everybody again for tuning in to Super Tight TV We back, up your back, going smack, smack, smack Just, just like that, that. And I hope it feel good to you too, cause it damn sure feel good to me. I got my sexy ass, gorgeous, beautiful wife. It's your girl Jazzy K in the building. In this B I E. So explain that drink to me again. See, what? I mean, why we always got to start off with what's in my cup? Because I, I'm not partaking tonight. I just right want to know now, what you're drinking. Just a little Hennessy. <laughs> It, look, it looks funny. Yeah, well. Hennessy don't usually look like that. What else is in there? I have a little Grand Marnier in here. Just, oh. Just a tag. To what take. is that? Is that a super tight exclusive? Um, It's the Jazzy Special. Jazzy Special. Mm -hmm. I heard it was a Bobo Special. I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't know you had your own drink. I got my own drink now. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. It's the Jazzy Special. It takes that burn off. Because if, you, if you're a real Hennessy drinker, you know that Hennessy mm -hmm. burn going mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. Burn. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, but it's a good burn though. Let's take it out. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. In the winter time, it's a good burn. Man, if you, if you don't you. if you don't watch <laughs> out, it'll sneak up on you. Have you back there coughing? That shit warn you up quick. Yeah. Right. Say, don't forget. I need all my people. Don't forget if y'all are uh, feeling all this beautiful, beautiful content. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications so every time we drop some new content, you will be notified. But today, I got a new family member that I stopped through, slid through, and sat down at the Texas table. Man, he came from the Money Hunter Mafia family. Did I say it right, baby? You did. I ah, <laughs> got it right. The Money yay. Hunter the money Mafia money. family. You know what I'm talking about? That's my man, Gunna Measy. That's a, a boss lady, Kiki. Man, mm -hmm. it goes down over there, man. I got BDR Goon in the house. Hey! What's going down? What's going down? What's happening, baby? Not much. Can <laughs> you, 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 you take me a quick little shot? Get little you a shit. shot. Give my man a shot. That's right. <laughs> but you good though, bro? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You look good, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank nice you. and crispy. Yeah. Nice yeah, and fresh. You. Everything. It, black always look good, don't it? It does. When you come yeah. in with yeah. black, don't crack. It no, never do. man. No, man. It never do. So, so uh, how long you been rapping? Shit, all my life. Oh, you really? Like, really? All my life. So you, how old are you? You mind me asking? I'm 26. Okay, okay. you young boy. Okay. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man. A little bit. Already. <laughs> so how? So what age did you start? I honestly couldn't even tell you. I just know, shoot, I was probably harmonizing before I could talk. Okay. Mm. Already. So I, I always had an ear and a, and a voice for music from beating on the kitchen refrigerator. Oh, you was one of them with the yes. pencils at the yeah. table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I wish I could do that. Oh, yeah. That means that music was just playing in your head and you had to get it out. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. So. You see you sitting at the Texas table, right? Mm -hmm. You see that blue star right there in front of you? Yeah. That's our little old Apollo stump. You know, we we always believe in positive energy here at Super Tight TV. We don't go down no drama road. We don't talk about no tabloid shit. No, good. You know, good. If you want to talk about it, that's you. No, that's but good. I'm not going to ask you no incriminating questions or nothing like that. So if you rub that blue star, that's for your for your career, for your positive energy, so you can have good luck and blessings for your life and your right. career. Yes. And also, yes. I need you to uh, leave us a little let some of that as well. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? Yes, Already. Sir. There's some legends world. Oh, stuff. yeah, man. What? Yeah, we didn't have Bumby, Lil Flip, DOC through here. Yeah, no, We've had some people come through, man. A lot of Texas legends as well. Already. Well, Dallas, Fort Worth area legends. So, so my first question is, what does the BDR stand for? Mm. Go down through there. Come on now. BDR right. Goon, what that stand for? BDR stands for Black Dollar Records. And okay. Long live my big brother Mike, because he the one that started this. Okay. You know, and uh What happened to Mike? Man, somebody just killed him. Recently? Recently. Oh, oh man. Sorry. We're sorry to hear that, brother. Yeah, it's 
it's a tough situation, you know, and it, it's one of those where you gotta watch the company you keep all yes. the time, all the time, bro. even if you love them or whatever situation it is. Shit, you just gotta always keep an eye on the people that you keep around. Mm -hmm. day day. Keep your keep your circle small. Yeah, keep your circle so that circle very very small, and. God, man, I mean, hearing you talk, it sounds like, I don't know, I'm just speculating, but it might have been somebody close to him. Nah. I don't. Mm. Mm. How long ago was it? That's horrible. It's been it's been a month. Oh, it's been oh. a month. That, that's a one. On the 19th, uh, uh, last month. Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry for your loss. We praying for uh, you, his, his family. family. Yes, yeah. man. Yeah. So he started Black Dollar Records. Yeah, he, he, he stamped it. He oh, started yeah. this shit. He stamped it. He the one that he the one that made Biddy Argoon. I put it that way. I read it. And what's his name again? His name Michael Chalmers. Michael right. Chalmers. I read it. Was he from Pleasant Grove as well? Uh, nah, he's actually from Marshall, Texas. Okay, East Texas. I read okay. it. Yeah, East Texas. Good people, man, East man. Texas. It's funny. I got tons of family out there. Do you really? Texas. Yeah. I read it. That's what my roots from, from Marshall from. to Tyler, yes. Paris. Yes, I got family all in East Texas. So For sure. I For consider sure. him damn near blood family. Mm -hmm. oh, well, I'm gonna let my wife, you know, go down through your family history. So she like she knows it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, See what I'm talking about? He just he on one today. I ain't even drinking. <laughs> he just in rare form, cutting yeah. up. Um, Mr. BDR Goon. Mm -hmm. So can we just call you Goon? No. Yeah. Uh, so are you gonna? Let, My bad. Just, I'm yeah. asking the question to you. <laughs> so you from Pleasant Grove? Mm -hmm. I have to ask, what high school did you go to? Brian Adams High School. Okay. What about middle school? Middle school, Gaston Middle School. Already, okay. already. Elementary. Elementary, Bells Elementary. Okay. You, ain't got none you know any of those? No. You don't know any of those? I know no. Gas. I went to Edna Row. Edna Row. I heard Edna Row. It's over there by the library. Which library? Niggas don't go to no library. <laughs> hey, speak for you. Uh, first. got phones now. <laughs> there are still libraries. You know okay? what to do with this one, system is? The card catalog. Because there's stuff in libraries that's not in these damn phones. What, what is it? The truth. Hey, that's facts. That's well, the, that's the but lie. that's a that's a whole nother uh nah, look, show I'll right there. This, they'll put a lie in a book just because a book lasts longer. Yeah, so don't they? You and you know, you, funny about? you say that because I'm thinking anything that can be generated by a human can be tainted. To be human is to yeah. err. Yes, and they can. They I don't know what that guy or uh, that's the man or uh, the authors. What their uh, agenda was when they wrote the book, you know what yeah, I mean? You never know. You they could have had. Mind. They could have had some type of. I mean, just like the Bible. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how they interpreted that the Bible. What they were using it for? We just assume through generations and what thousands of years that we supposed to follow this little black book. You know what I'm talking about? So I just or, or whatever. Code. Let me get off my. Let me get off my soapbox. Thank my you. Bad. Thank you. I mean, go back. Go, go back. Go back. My bad. Go back to the interview. Okay, so I always ask this question when I meet people from Pleasant Grove. Did you find when you were in school that they put a lot into the arts? More so than... Is I art. feel like they did. Yeah, like like band and music. and they. I feel like they had a lot of... Or were you an athlete? I'm going to put it like this. I, I was both. See? I, was, I, I ain't going to lie. I was in band. So me too. I didn't like it. I ain't going to say... I wanted to be in band, but that's just something that I had to do. Yes, in school and shit. Hell, I was a trumpet player. Really? There you go. Oh, really? It's hard to play the trumpet. It is, but I, shit, I learned it. Did you? See? Mama was on my ass if I did. <laughs> right. How many years did you uh, play? Shoot, I was I was two years in band. Okay. Okay. The first chance I got to get out. <laughs> 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 as soon as he got in high school, baby, that was me. In I'm high school, I was like, mm. it's hard to do both in high school. Those mm. uniforms are hot. Yes, <laughs> well, yeah, that for me. I was like, no, that's it. So, okay, so you played the trumpet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Tell me about what? your family life. Were you, um, yeah, single, single mom or two parents? No, no, no. I had both. I had both parents. That's Did you? Oh, up. that's great. Yeah, my, my, my. I had two great people. Great household. Mom, uh, uh, sisters, and brothers. 
a lot of sisters, no brothers. Not that I know. Oh, really? Welcome to my world, bro. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's tough, huh? Welcome to my world. Yeah, it's tough. How many sisters did you actually have, though? Damn. Oh, he got the counter. <laughs> On dash, on dash. I mean, is this from mom and daddy, or they... just, just my daddy? Okay, from daddy. my mama, it's just the three of us. Okay, two you know, sisters. Me and I actually got a twin sister. Okay, yeah, I, I got really. a twin sister and an older sister. I really, and uh, that's just us from my mama. But I got a couple more, so shit, I want to say maybe six. That's six more, so six, seven, eight. Oh, maybe, maybe six. So you are not really. misbehaving at all. Yeah. <laughs> and so you, who came out first, your sister or you? Me. Oh, so you ain't the baby. <laughs> nah. I was say you the nah, baby. Nah. Yeah. Are you and your twin close? Yeah. Oh, that's Already. Awesome. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. Yeah. I always wondered how it was, would be to have a twin. You know what I mean? I can tell you this. It's, it's, it's everything that people think it is. Really? Yeah, it's everything you think it is. Whether y'all together, y'all thinking the same thing mm. or whether y'all are the total opposite. Yes. She, I have twin sisters and people used to ask them, if I hit her, do she feel it? And they like, no. Yeah. Nah, see, my, <laughs> my sister, she's good in every way. To me, she's, yeah. she's good. She's handling everything. So what you Look, think? What you think? You bad? I'm the total opposite. Oh, she, she's a girl. She I, <laughs> you the black sheep in the family? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely the black sheep. <laughs> me too. That's me, bro. I'm definitely the black sheep all day long. So am I. <laughs> it's girl, like that. You so stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're good at you. I'm just playing. No, you did. So don't let the. You said music being. In, don't let the smooth taste. Yeah, about to. You know, okay. I was about to hit you with that. So uh, I'll let you make it today. I know it. She straight out. The Grove, excuse me, she's straight out of Oak Cliff, man. That's she went by hood. way of the Grove. Put yeah. it in his face. Yeah. Get that understood. Oh, man. Hey. Understood. On, on, on okay. your, what, who were your influences as far as rap? Mm -hmm. Since you was walking around the house beating on, the, beating on the walls and the tables and everything, getting on your mom and your see, dad in there. See, that's, that's, well, that's something that's kind of hard to explain for me because, like, as far as just sound, like, I don't know. I want to say, like, I've had somebody that, that influenced it, yes. but there's nobody that I can say as far as growing up. Yes. It's, just some, it's just something that I've, I've, that I've always been doing. Whether Anything, I'm any, on something. Any artist? But as far as family-wise, my uncle yes. does his own music. Okay. You know? My uncle Todd did. Nah, well, he? Pro producer, he recorded himself. He did all his oh, own music. Wow. Already. What type of what 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 form of music is R and B is it rap is it everything Oh really Yeah everything Oh really Shout out to him rap. Yeah yeah Oh really So I mean just hanging around him I got serious with it like like I said I always beat around just play around with music just because it was fun yeah to me but I took it serious when I went to his house because shit I used to go to his house and just hang out with him Yeah you know I got love for him Yes. And um, he'd have his whole studio just set up, and yeah. he'd be working. Let me get in that mic, boo. It wasn't look. It wasn't. It wasn't even like that. It was just like you know. I'm I'm playing a game. I'm young. I'm playing a game. GTA, yes. Grand Theft Auto, and shit. Shit. I'm not knowing what's going on. But one day, I'm just riding in my in my daddy car. Yes. And he he played my uncle's song. He like this your uncle. I'm like what. I'm like nigga, this your uncle. Yes. Cut, cut it up. Shit, I cut it up. I'm jamming. I'm like, this Uncle Ty. Shit, we just said this. This Uncle Ty. Yeah. I'm like yeah. I'm like okay. He sound good. Like, What's his name? Ty. Ty who? T Y E. Sample. Single Ty. Nah, I don't, I, I don't know too much. I know how he, he look. He from East Texas. He from Paris, Texas. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I about to say that now one I know he's from uh not Paris, but um damn the other the other way over there by Waco way. I can't think. Uh, nah, 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 nah. But he's from here. He's a producer, singer. Oh uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. His name is T Y E too. Oh, but yeah. his name Chocolate Tie now, because he's doing uh Southern Soul. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I probably need a link with Bronson. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He dope. Dope dope. He yeah, was yeah, back yeah, in yeah. our day, he was like the Nate Dog of Dallas. Oh. Like everybody who wanted a hook. They went and got tired. Mm. I'm talking about back in the 90s. So he, he had this 
He got all the, the yeah. The, he got all the styles, don't yeah, he? R. Kelly, yeah. Aaron Hall. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. He's church, down. church. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay, he can yeah. do them. He's a real singer. Oh yeah, yeah. No attitude. Yeah, no attitude. He he came on our show, and and so, anything he any any song we asked him about, he sang a part of it. Yeah, effortlessly. I wish I, I, wish I get. I, I wish I get that good. You go practice my perfect, bro. Yeah, how long you been into it real seriously? I mean, as far as business wise, business wise, I would say as long as BDR been started, so that's about ten years. Okay, you've been deep in it, deep in it. How many projects you got out? I'm gonna say four, five, five projects, yeah. mixtapes or, or full projects. All uh, mixtapes. I read it. Now you know I did check you out and doing our research. You weren't just our brothers down there. At, um, Rap economics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to rap, rap economics. Yeah. Everybody yeah. can't come up here. Yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah. He gonna blow your eardrums out for real. He, Bro. Yeah, right next to you. <laughs> right, right next to you. I watched him today, <laughs> and she said, "Damn!" <laughs> and it was a chick, uh, oh Helvo out of Beaumont was on. <laughs> what's on there? Shout out to Helvo and. um I thought that, bro. I was like, I wonder what they be thinking sitting right next to that nigga when that nigga yell like that. Hey, no, 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 no. Like, hey, it's good that he does that. Yeah, that's his trademark now. He can't not, yeah. not do it. You know I, what I'm saying? I, I see why he does that. Though. You crunk it, after it, that, ain't it's you? Good. It, it wakes you up. Yeah. You know? Yeah, sure. It kind of yeah. breaks the ice a little bit. Whenever For, for whoever's coming on his platform, it kind of breaks the ice. Yes. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to be uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can be yourself. Or some shit. Everybody so, yeah. can't come up here. And you went down to Houston to do it, or did you catch it when it came out? I went. I went straight to Houston. Already, Houston. how was that experience? Man, I love Houston. Shout out to the H town. Already, you ain't gonna get no trip, bro. I so did. You did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I so did. Tell me about the man, experience, I, man. Hey, trill burger slaps. Did hey, trill burger slaps. They need one in Dallas, but yeah, uh, uh, don't don't. I don't, I don't, don't know if he's going to. for it, but look, hey, if I'm the first to say it, man, hey, please make one in Dallas. You ain't okay. the first. Come on. You ain't the first. No. You ain't going to be the last. No, I hope mm-hmm. not. Mm-hmm. Make one in Dallas for sure. Yeah. You're going to eat. So is, um, are the fries good? Fry, everything good. Everything good. Everything. The okay. burger's good. The fries good. Shit, the drink's good. Hey, okay. Bun, you heard that? You got All your right. endorsement hey. up, her, bro. Right. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, yeah, new endorsement. I like that. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Got your endorsement hey, up, hey, That's a whole yeah. franchise. That's a whole franchise. Oh yeah, yeah. just already. waiting to happen, ain't it? It's, in, it's, in, it's probably already in progress yeah. right now. We don't even know. Oh, oh yeah, we don't. <laughs> hey, Not yet. He's putting that on. He's concentrating on that one store right now, and until that, I mean, you see, he just opened up the drive through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Drive through just opened last week. Yeah, and yeah. and once they get it, all the bills and the, the bugs kink. It's smart. Up. It's smart. I can tell you that. They don't take cash. I'm going to tell you that right now. You go, if you want to go to Trill Burger, make sure you have a credit card yes. or your mm-hmm. card. They, they Bring your time card. I can't smart. stand places that uh, only take you can't cash. Rob me. I'll be like, you can't rob. You can't rob mm-hmm. me. Your workers, they can't take no bread out the register. No, none of that. Mm-hmm. None of that. Every single dollar. Yeah. And it's accounted for. Accounted for, and you know, last yeah. night they was on uh, what's the cooking show that's uh, on Food Network? Yeah, um, uh, the competition. Back in the day. <laughs> what's the food competition show, baby? Like Iron Chef? I think it is Iron Chef. Iron Chef, Hell's Kitchen. I think it's Iron Chef. The uh, his his no, business I'm about partner. To say Grocery Wars. No, Iron <laughs> Chef. I believe don't don't quote me, but I believe it's Iron Chef. His partner, the the, the Asian guy, he won last night on Iron Chef. Oh wow! Yeah, that's the code. The code. So it's two people on the bun and this Asian guy. Mm-hmm. And he won last night on Iron Shell. Oh, shit. Oh, Representing yeah. Trill, bro. Oh, they getting all kind of pub. Yes. So what artists are you feeling in the city oh, besides yeah. yourself? Besides myself? Mm-hmm. I'm I'm feeling Gunna Measy. Hey. hey Gunna Measy got some Measy emotion. Go yeah, he do. You ain't just saying that because you're biased, are you? No. 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 I'm all around. I'm real. I'm, I'm real, shit. I read If you whack, I'm going to tell you whack. Like, That's what's Gunna is a true artist, though. He a true artist. He a, he he's a real he a real individual. Mm-hmm. He's yes. a real solid individual. Yes. Yeah, he is. Yes. The first day I really just met, bro, because I heard of him. I've mm-hmm. been listening to his music before yeah. I met him, so I I've been knowing bro mm-hmm. hard or whatever. But since the first day I met him, it's just been straight 
you love. Yes. And, and what's crazy, like what locked me in is Mike, the person who started this BDR shit, yes. shit, that's all it was. I got the same energy since the first day I met him. It's yes. just like, damn, you the same person. Mm -hmm. That like it's it's crazy to me because it's like that's it's, what it's I be looking for. Love, I like that switching up, and 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 that's why I believe and have so much faith in God. Yes, because it's it's just crazy. Like I lose them, and you know, out here it's is 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 hard because you know what I'm saying like you, you get attached so, to people and people. Be, not even I would say get attached. It's easy to get off track you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like a lot of people that's hard like i, I like living life i understand why so so mm -hmm. many people throw their life away because it's mm -hmm. it's easy to yeah. feed so into many, your especially anger especially now it's so many distractions you know what that is it's, we, we, we have a thing that i've been trying to I've, I've been saying for the last few months it's emotions yeah you have to learn as a young person to control your emotions exactly and it's crazy i have a song out on all platforms called Emotion. If you're listening to this right now, go listen to that song. Already. I'm going to check it out, man. Yeah, it's, it's a real good song. That was his favorite song. Mm. And it's, it's basically going off of what you said. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You can't really show emotions. You can't feed into your emotions. You mm. know what I'm saying? You could feel whatever you want to feel at the end of the day. But mm -hmm. the moment you give into your emotions, that's... That shows everybody you eat. That's yes. what's up. Oh man. The moment you blow up and get mad and, and do some reckless shit. Yep. You yes. Weak. Oh, a temper. You're giving, you, you you giving people power over you. Power. Yeah. Complete, Complete power. Ask over any you. real street nigga. Any yes, real yes. nigga. Any real nigga that's outside. They're gonna tell you the moment you 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 feed into your emotions, shit, that shit, man, you dead. I mean, that's just everyday life though. That's just a le a life lesson. Like you can't be you can't be emotional. Yeah, flipping off and going off on yeah. people and then expect. Nah, you can't. I mean, you it took a long time from. Bro. Because after a while, people don't listen to that. It's just like a parent that yells a lot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like after a while, you don't hear nothing but the yelling. Mm -hmm. It's not. They, they, they do too much yelling mm -hmm. that you forget. That's exactly. All your kid hears at one point. Like when mm -hmm. you do more yelling and you do more, more. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, praising exactly. yeah. Yes. praising and affection. Yes. That's all your kids gonna hear at the end exactly. of the day. That's all they gonna know. So what you think they gonna grow up doing? I, yeah. So CPR. Let's talk about that song. I like this song. CPR. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How you come up with that concept? A lot of my music, I just sit like I like like when I made that song, I was recording at a studio in two eleven. A lot of people in Dallas know what 211 is. So oh, really? 211 get busy down there. Mm -hmm. I locked myself in the studio and I just played that beat over and over again. And I came across that beat. Shout out to the person who made that beat, produced by 88. That that nigga's that nigga's working right now. Oh, he really? got a lot of shit out. That nigga got plaques from Rod Wave hey. to everybody. So yep. and when he heard that song, that's he was like sent it to me. Hey, Seth. And it's crazy. I got the beat off YouTube. Wow. So you got the beat off YouTube. Yeah. You rapped to it. And he said, send it to me. Yeah, I rapped to it. I tagged him in it. And yes. he was like, send it to me ASAP. Bro. Already. Yes, I up? fucks with this. Already. And when I made the song, I was just sitting thinking. And, you know, I, I lost a lot of my friends. Like, a lot of people I used to just chill with on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. Go hang out with. Because... It's tough. Yes. Like when you when you live in a life to where you you want your own, you want your you you in this entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Yes. You chasing the dream where you don't want to work for nobody. It's tough in the beginning. It's it tough. Yes, you know it what is. Saying? So And that's the thing pe a lot of people don't realize and they give up. They see you and can't. I think that's the thing about the time that we are in now because everyone sees instant success and that's all they see. It's oh, not Instagram. Instant. Yeah, no. they don't see the work behind it or the struggle behind it. They the just see the end result. Or the losses. Uh, and then when they say, oh, I'm going to do that same thing, and they realize that this ain't all I thought it was more yeah. than all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not mm -hmm. everything that you've seen. All the people you lost, you time. think you lost them to the streets? I'm think, Or you telling us you lost them to the streets? Nah, I lost... I lost people in every way, from mm. the streets, from people, from my, my people serving, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And 
even with the pills, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why mm. I don't like pills. I don't do pills. I yes. hate pills. It's watered down. Like, please stop taking this shit. I'm yes. telling you, stop please say sell- that again. Like, stop selling this shit. Like, it's... It's you can hustle. It's so many other ways to hustle, Thank bro. You. Like, yes. I love money so much, bro, but it's not worth it at the end of the day. And that wasn't even my husband. Long live, long live my brother Isaac. Yes. White boy got so much love for him, but man, he took his own life behind the shit because he sold a fake pill to his best friend. Mm. He best knew friend. he knew the pill was fake. No, uh, he probably just, didn't know. Why he didn't, he didn't, he didn't know. know. He didn't know at all. And what happened to his friend? Friend died. Fentanyl. Mm. Yeah. He felt bad. And he took his own life because of that. No, 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 no. He felt bad. Tried to go apologize to the family because it's mm. it's like for him, it's terrible. Yes. It's heartbreaking. You ain't mean. Yeah, 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 shit. yeah. Like that's your friend. That's your brother down there. Shit. And shit, they down there killed him. They stabbed him. Mm. The family? Oh yeah. Oh my God. And and I'm here, and I'm like, like I was like, damn. That's real life, though. And like, before that happened, I I, I sat and I smoked a blunt with him. I'm, I'm, and he just telling me he was like, man, this shit is just crazy. Like, I don't know how to deal with it. And I'm just like, bro, like, it's hard out here. Yes. Don't beat yourself up about it. You know what I'm saying? That's and how just, old was that, he? Shit, Isaac was. 20, ah, 26. He was about my age. Mm. I think he was 26. He was, he was one of my older friends. Gotcha. I, ain't, I don't hang with nobody mm-hmm. my age. Gotcha. I don't gotcha. hang gotcha. with people mm-hmm. kind of older than me. Yeah. I can tell. But, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, you know, all of that happened and shit, he ended up taking his own life behind it. And it's like, shit. Like, and see, people think it's all. I understand again. the pressure. Yes. Like, I understand the pressure. Like, Ooh. Like, long live them, like, for real. But, like, it's a lot of pressure you got to deal with at the end of the day behind this hustle. Man. Trying to get to the A money. lot of people not ready for it. You could wake up every day, think you're getting money, and, and hmm. feel like you're ready for this shit. But yep. everything fall right now. Laws come or yes. somebody oh, die, whatever the fucking case yes. may be. You're not going to spin. You're not going to slide. You're not going to step. Yes. 12 walk through the door. You're going to tell them everything. So mm. it's like, why are you? Speak. Why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? Because I think. Again, it goes back to that instant satisfaction. You know, that's money right now. I don't have to work on And I, I don't think they go, a lot of people don't go into it thinking about the consequences or the bad things. No. They just think about well, I've, get I've, money. I say some people are born into it yes. mm-hmm. and take off with it. I know mm-hmm. what you're about to say. And the others mm-hmm. see that as an influence. Right. Let me tell you. Like, right. Let me tell you. I got to do this right. shit or I got to go this way when you don't have to. Let me yeah, tell you something. Um, I don't know if you pay attention to the internet, but there's a guy out of Fort Worth named OG Percy. Yeah. I ran uh, into Percy. P- Percy came on our show and what he said is hitting home now. Mm-hmm. He said that type of activity was just in style. Yeah. So it, it made is. it, it made it popular for you know, one drug dealer do something and make it popular for, oh, I'm going to do it too. I'm going to do it too. I'm going to do it too. You know, even though you might be in a poverty situation trying to get to the bag, mm-hmm. but some of these kids are not. <laughs> some of these kids are in, in, some, in, kids some of these kids live in, live in Las Colinas. Yeah. Some of them live in Mansfield. Uh-huh. Some of them live in, you know. And, and it's they, like, it's like, you ain't thugging. You don't need to thug to right. be a real nigga at the no. end of the day. And I'm so glad you said that because I don't think that is said enough. Like, my name Goon. Mm-hmm. I didn't get the name off just being a goon. A goon? <laughs> yes. Like, I done a lot of rights and wrongs, I'm not going to lie, but you ask my mama today, she going to tell you, I got a good heart. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know what I'm saying? My mom, my dad raised me right yes. to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? I'm smart at the end of the day. I know how to operate. I know how to move. I know how to take care of myself, my mm-hmm. family, my loved ones. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I know how to move. They raised a smart individual. That's you know what I'm saying? I read it. And I stand ten toes on that. That's fuck like take the streets out of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's where I'm like, that's who made me at the end of the day. But as far as this street shit, it's just like, bruh. You don't have to do all of this shit at the end of the Preach day. Preach on like, it, like it. It's not it. Okay. It's not it. Like I mean, I mean, since the beginning of the time, they've been telling you it's only two ways. 
It is. It's hard to find a retired so drug dealer. Wow. It's hard to. And it ain't no 401k in it. You either going to end up dead or in jail. Ain't no benefits. Fact. I just, yeah. It's Especially just. Especially now. You got social media everywhere. It's camera. Bro, everywhere. it's camera. It is not like when we was in the 90s hustling, bro. I'm thinking the profit margins are not the same. Man, I called it. Like, <laughs> I called it, hmm. I'd say, five, six years ago. A lot of people that's rapping. Yes. Now, some of some of some of people, some of y'all's favorite rappers. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm watching them. I'm like, right. they want to be outside so bad. I'm like, bro, get the hell off. <laughs> get, yes. off get out the street. Get out yeah. The block. They yeah. watching you. Yeah. yeah. You want to do that? Go ahead, do it. But you can't do both. I, operate on a certain level. You don't have to be outside twenty four seven like. Mm-hmm. Twelve not riding around with phones too. Like they're not sitting in the car on their all day, riding through, taking pictures of the game. Oh, they know all the tricks now. Like, come on now. They, like, they know like, all the tricks. You might as well just chill. It's not like the other days. You can't sit up there stand outside post up. all day, post up. No. Nope. And expect nothing to happen to you. <laughs> the neighbor gonna tell it on you. Everybody yeah, taking pictures. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I done seen, I've been walking outside. See everybody standing outside on the block. And I seen an undercover law in yeah. a regular car hmm. driving by his phone to the window down there. Yeah. Record. Yeah. He's a driver. Yeah. Record. We're planning to see. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Yeah. This, like, he just going to put that in the file. Why y'all lying? He's going to put that in the file. Oh, yeah, we, we got them. That's, now a, you, that's little Ray Ray right there. Now that's look, little you <laughs> fast, look, you fast forward all the way up to now. Everybody that was outside, and I know them personally. Mm-hmm. Everybody know me. Yes, you know I'm talking about you too, like shit. But everybody that was out there got cases, mm. fighting cases. It's not working because they didn't do it smart. You're not smart about it. Yeah. If you're gonna do it, be smart about it. I'm, Operate. Yeah, Take I'm it thinking. to the next level. That part. If yes. You want to say you moving funny? You moving funny? Oh well. Yes. You moving like you a superstar? Oh, oh well. well. I'm you ain't Hollywood. moving dumb. Oh, you're not moving yeah. dumb. You're not feeding me. You're not feeding my kids. You're not putting money in my pocket. That's for like, That's shit. real. Regret. Real, real shit. What it's, you? What song you? Song regret. Oh. Go ahead, baby. No, 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 no. I ain't cut you off. Want to know about that song? Song regret. The song I got regret. Mm-hmm. What was you going through with that one? <laughs> Talk about it, man. Talk about it. I'm trying man. to remember all what I said on the song, so I know for sure. That's an old song. Kinda. I need to pull it up. Yeah, play it. It's a that's the love. That's that's the love song. Damn, that wasn't. Yeah, that was a love song. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I make that song. Really, I heard the beat, mm-hmm. and Optimus, I knew I had to come a little soft on it. Mm-hmm. But really, I made that song because. Me and Bay, we we you know what I'm saying? We we came fighting a lot, you know. It, it happens. Yeah. It's life. It happens with everything. So when I came up with that song, I wanted to really make a message, like come up with something that everybody's gonna feel. So mm-hmm. from a man's perspective, you know what I'm saying, you know, we wrong a lot. I just put it like that. We gotta take the blame a lot, so I I leave it at that. Like, yep. you know what I'm saying. And That's every word, man. and every word, I really meant. Like, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I've learned real love. Like, I've been done dirty shit, mm-hmm. yeah, dealing with love. But it's like I ain't never really knew how to love somebody until I got with her. I ain't never really knew how to accept a lot of shit coming yeah. with somebody. Like, with it. From how they act and like, you know what I'm saying? But over time you see change, you see growth, you see love, you see somebody who actually cares for you, mm-hmm. somebody who checks up on you, see mm. if you ate, see, you yes. know what I'm saying? See if you got some sleep, see where your head at. Get on your ass when you're wrong right then and mm. there. Well, but you look over here, at the man. end of the day, you know that's somebody who got your back through thick and thin. That's something that you would never want to Lose. Never want to lose. <laughs> and it's funny. The moment you love somebody, you know for a fact you love somebody, go a day alone without hmm. Oh, well. yeah. Oh, yeah. Go I don't like day. sleeping without my baby. Oh, no, I can't. Like, How do you know? How do I know? Because yeah. you, you've been... 
You been I, locked up a couple times. I, <laughs> that's no, you did. <laughs> she laid right through it. Like, <laughs> like you, like we could say that. Yeah, it's comfortable, but. I, I guarantee you, the first night you sleep without your, oh, without yeah. your one you love, oh, yeah. you don't yeah, yeah, feel yeah. like, yeah. You know, I'm like, damn, it's so wrong. Yeah. You know yeah. what it is, bro. <laughs> this shit's so wrong. You know what it call, is, man. Let me call yeah. you. Know? It's, a lot of, it's a lot of niggas out there just scared. <laughs> they scared. They scared of that. I ain't going to say scared of commitment. They just scared to. Nah, son. I, I look. I, I ain't gonna. I used to be. I used to do the shit. Oh, I used yeah. to cheat. I used to fuck out. Oh, yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. It's fun, but till it ain't. <laughs> it look. I'm gonna say it's pros and cons to everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's fun to an extent to where yeah, you get to do everything you want to fucking do at the oh, end. Yeah. Of the it's day. exhausting you gotta, too. You ain't gotta hear shit, but at the same time, you get to seeing everybody get love, not from their. Immediate family, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? They're getting love from yep. motherfuckers they never even known at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? That affection. People see that and, and want it, you know what I'm saying? Because it looks good. It feels good. Mm-hmm. Somebody could tell you about it. Oh, my girl did this. You know what I'm saying? We did this. You're going to feel good. You're yeah, going to yeah. be like, damn. Wish I had one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I want that. Yeah. I'm saying, but you living a life like this, mm-hmm. yeah, you gonna get those days where ain't nobody gonna wanna fuck with you, shit. You yeah. just thugging it out alone. That's just what it is. <laughs> yo, yo, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Some you. people love that lifestyle, but mm-hmm. you know, oh me. yeah, players for life. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. some nigga that's players for life. Don't give a damn. Don't give. Every time they, every time they hard get close to uh, falling in love, they they cut it. They cut it. Let me ask you this: Do you think um, growing up and having both of your parents? influenced how you feel about relationships because i think a lot of people you know grow up in single situations whether it's mom or dad and yeah they just haven't seen that yeah i'm gonna answer that question like this like Mm -hmm. that plays a big role in how men treat women oh yeah i'm saying because if kids growing up they see do everything Mm -hmm. whoever's around Mm -hmm. they do exact sponges they they copy everything. So it's like you take a a, a, a mm-hmm. little boy and you raise him without a father mm-hmm. and he only sees women activities. Mm. It's like, what are you going to get? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, no disrespect to anybody, okay. but it's just, you. It's, it's like, that's what you get at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Compared to... A boy that's been raised up by a man mm. who knows how to treat a woman at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah, my, pops, the my pops knows how to treat a woman. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. See, that's the thing. It's got to, you it know, I, I heard difference. what you I heard that question, but it's got to be the right situation. Because yeah. because if they if they're married Well, I'm talking about a right situation. The right situation, yeah. yeah. Because if they're married and they end up being toxic. You know what I'm saying? And well, your kids, yeah, of course. Right. That and your didn't kids, happen. Yeah, your kids, yeah, you, you're gonna, you gonna know a toxic relationship mm-hmm. growing up. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna know how to treat a woman. So and yeah. vice versa. I mean, I f- I feel like a lot of women um, have a hard time, and they have to learn how to treat a man as well because yeah. of not seeing that and not being around it, and not yeah. you know what I mean. Speak yeah. on it then. Yeah, it's the truth. It's just like. Um, you know how it's some women that'll say, "Oh, let me get up, let me fix your plate, baby." And then, I didn't grow up like that, <laughs> so it took a little nah. while for me. <laughs> no, nah, even still, sometimes, but it's a two way you know street. Mean? It is, it is, and that's why you know we work because we we pick up where the other one left off. But yeah, I'm just saying it's it's things I know I didn't know because I didn't experience that. Yeah, and and experience would teach you mm-hmm. a lot. More than anything else in this world could teach you. A book. Right. Where you think the person who wrote the book learned yes. whatever they wrote that shit well, from. Oh, yeah. They experienced it and it, wrote it down. Experience. Like, oh, shit. I've been trying to tell people all the time. It's, Bro. it's more about age. It's more about experience. Yeah, it no, is. It's more about experience. It ain't about that age. Because I'm an old cat. And I done seen so much yet. You know what I'm okay. talking about? So... How you, what do you feel about the Dallas music scene right now? Uh, is it in a good place? Uh, it's got room to grow. What, what, what's your thoughts? Dallas has so much potential. Yes. Dallas could be as big as Atlanta. But it's like 
everybody in Dallas just sitting around waiting on the next person instead of being the person to get up and say, hey, you know what I'm saying? Let's do it for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Let's make a way for everybody. Yeah. Not everybody can get in, of course. Mm -hmm. No, 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 but, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. But, you know what I'm saying? Let's shine a light over here. Let's shine a little light over here. Let's shine a little light over there. Like, shit, I don't, I don't care about whatever they got going on. I just want to be the person to help. Yes. I just want to be the person to open the door for everybody, not just pick and choose. Oh, really? Which is why it, we started this platform. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, I make reason. a lot of good music. I have yet to come across 10 people that tell me I don't make good music. Yes, I really. I really only had probably, I guess, two people who comment, and they comment well, they probably, probably still haters. Hater. So they yeah. hater, yeah. You gotta have a but They might be 13 years old. Yeah. Typing away. But I have yet to come across somebody who say I don't make good music because I make different music on purpose. Mm -hmm. I make music, Try I try to make it in every genre so I get a feel for everything. So yeah, it's yeah. like, why... I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Why I'm not where I'm, where I want to be yet? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Why I haven't, like I've been, I'm in everybody's face, and and it's it's crazy because it's like, you know what I'm saying? I try so hard. Keep you know trying, bro. Dallas is yeah. a hard oh, nut to crap. Oh, I, I know if that's, sure. that's, that's I got how it look, is. I got Dallas by the balls. Let me yeah. just say that. Like I got my name out. I've I've been working for a long time. People Pause. know who Pause. I am. <laughs> <laughs> We got you slacking on nah. your people. Nah. He, he, he won't do it. He ain't want to do it. Nah. Every, it ain't, we don't discriminate. Everybody get Everybody the pause. Everybody get the pause button. Pause, yeah. Yeah, fuck <laughs> But I'm dead serious. Like, yeah, I, feel I, you. like I, I got I got my, my foot on niggas' throats for real. Mm -hmm. And it's it's cause I work so hard. I, I ain't I'm not the type of person to go ride somebody else's way. Yeah. I'm not finna go be a fan. Like you don't sound like nobody else. Now let me ask you this: You say you have your foot on that on these necks. Do your foot ever get stuck? stuck. <laughs> I had you know where she get that from? <laughs> get stuck. You know where that stuck? Yeah, that's a bar. I say that's it, Cardi B's. Bar. Cardi B. <laughs> Cardi B. I got my foot on the on the neck so much to get my foot get stuck. So oh, I was just gonna say it's so, <laughs> it's some <laughs> necks that's kind of thick out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So yeah. You, you got it. Got a party person, yeah. Show, but I know, I know, I've been working. You've been working lot. hard, yeah. Cause what you got coming up next, though? Coming up next, I I really got a lot of projects that mm -hmm. I I want to go ahead and push. I got I got a new track that I just made with my brother NFL Trap. Okay, you know what I'm saying called Danger, and uh, yeah. we get we we working on the video treatment for that. I really, you know what I'm saying. We gonna push that and uh, get that shit going. And uh, I got another album or mixtape that I'm working on. I'm I'm still deciding, and I'm gonna drop that on on Mike's birthday. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna, try to, I'm gonna try to do something for his family. Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of hard right now. I'm doing what I can, working with what I got. But oh, yeah, that's understand. that's what's on my heart. Like I I really want to make sure this shit go forever. I really. Man. So. Uh, now was CPR the song you did the live, the live performance? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And now it, who was idea was that? That was that was pretty dope. That was actually my idea. Okay. Now, uh, me and and Chopper, the owner of Discover Studios, mm -hmm. uh, we actually came up with the whole live performance error. Oh. Like every time you see a microphone hanging that mm -hmm. that that shit started with me and him really yeah we wondering Claim that that shit yeah I, I, what year did you start it 2021 okay yeah 2021 and uh you did the first mic drop i did the first mic drop like, I, mean, I i i ain't like let me be more specific i did the first local artist okay mic drop and i, I got mean. the idea from colors i seen gunners Mm -hmm. performance on colors i think it was a uh, top off or something like that and i seen it and i'm like damn shit i can't afford that shit <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah so i showed it to bro i'm recording i was actually a, a, a an engineer yes so like i record everybody so i'm telling him i'm like hey man look at this you know what i'm saying you you do cameras you, you shoot videos i'm here engineering i got the hot music I want to do one of these. Mm -hmm. So, shit. He like, shit. Take the mic. Take the mic from out the studio. Hang that mug up. 
I'm going right. to set my camera up, and we're going to get it right there. Right? Wow. And that's how it happened. The song was so hard, I posted. I had it posted all yeah. over platforms. But here's the kicker. Instead of reaching out like, hey, you know what I'm saying? That's hard, bro. Like, let's work. Like, I'm going to do it too. Let's grow. <laughs> That's what the next, the very next day after I seen it hit all the blogs, the very next day I seen cameramen, I seen like four or five different cameramen post it on their video. I mean, and post then, it on their page. Hey, I'm 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 finna start hanging the microphone and 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 we gonna do these live performances. Four hundred dollars come oh, get yeah. it. and people biting. I oh, watch. Yeah. I'm like, damn. They like, took your idea and ran and with then it. they don't give you no credit even, for it. Like, I don't even want the credit. I don't it's want just, the idea. I, it's just like that's just. That's Dallas. Huh? That's just how it is. Yeah. That's it, that, that is. That's just, yeah. that's just how it is. But it's like that's Dallas too. That's gold. Like shit, ideas everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You branching off doing this shit yourself when you could easily lock yourself in with somebody and grow mm -hmm. something even bigger. But it's crazy. I see that shit worldwide. Oh yeah, worldwide. Mm -hmm. Everybody in every state is doing live live performance. Oh yeah. So that goes to show if you out here working, you out here making some good music, you out here feeling like nobody's watching you just because your views low. Somebody out there watching you. That's real. Mm -hmm. right. Somebody's Already. watching you for sure. Already. It may not. You may not feel like it, but somebody's watching you for sure. They got any right. shows coming up in the in the future? Yeah, uh, we got a show out. In uh, in Houston, okay, actually, coming up in November. Okay, you know what I'm saying I'm going to open up for Gunna Me's. You know, already. Gonna, you know, we're gonna rock that man. It's gonna be a hot show, man. So, uh, baby, ask them your favorite your your songs. Oh, my song. You know, mm. the question about the songs. Okay, of your discography, what's your three favorite songs and why? My songs, mm -hmm. songs I made. Emotions. Okay. Why? Emotions. Uh, when I made emotions, I was going through a whole lot. You know, I had a lot of my close friends of 10 years change on me. Mm. Uh, the girlfriend at the time was down bad. She did me dirty too. So it's just like, you know, I was going through so much shit on top of losing all my friends. So it's like, you got so many emotions you feeling at the time. And uh, my boy R.D. Dalton, he sent me the beat, and I felt it, like, instantly. Like, I came up with the hook probably in a minute. Already. Already. And as soon as I heard it, I was like, I got I to gotta get it down. I got to record it. And when I made the song, Mike, he heard it. He like, man, you go. You go. You gone. Mm -hmm. Like, this it. This the one. And and I'm here. I'm like, man, I done made so much good shit, man. <laughs> Like, ain't nobody from fuck with it. Like, I'll take your word. Like, yeah, but at the end of the day, man, ain't nobody listening to this shit. Like, I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna go ahead and do do what it do and keep on pushing. But I ain't really feel that. But I'm at 211, recording, working, and uh, I'm asleep. She walked in the door. <laughs> this is how I met her. Yes. She walked in the door, and I'm I'm like, I wake up like, damn, who y'all? Just walking in my studio, shit. The hell going on? Ease. So they do they investigation. You know, I, I record, I do music, and she actually hear the song, and she asked for some music. I play her emotions. She's like, "Oh, see me that song." I send it to her. You know, they leave. Next day, I listen to that song about twenty and thirty times. <laughs> I like that song so much. I'm like, oh, really? She, she ended up coming back to the studio. Yes. I'm like, damn. <laughs> and ever since then, we've been together. Every, oh, single, yeah. every oh, single day. Every that's single, a dope story. Day. That's yeah. what's up. And shoot, that was Mike's favorite song. That's her favorite song. So I know that song go. Oh, really? That's one of my favorite songs. The other one, CPR. Okay, why? That song showed me, who, showed me how much power potential I have behind my my music, behind my voice. Mm -hmm. And I made that song in in the 211 studio, probably in I wanna say a couple of hours. Yeah. And um I didn't really think it was a song that good because I make a lot of harder mm -hmm. 
more violent songs, you know, but um, when I made that song and I played it, I just had it playing in the studio and chopped the owner of this, the whole building at the time. I mean, the whole floor. He came in like, yo, 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 that's hard, man. That's the one, that's the one, that's the one, that's the one. We got to do a live performance. We got to do another live performance. Yo. And I'm like, okay, okay, all right. Uh, shit. I want to be different than last time. Last time I was up here, shit. Let's go downtown. Let's go. I want to be in the middle of the street with it. Fuck it. Yes, what's up? And I did it. That went crazy. Was that the mic drop? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the mic drop in downtown. Mm-hmm. And everybody I, I, I posted that, and people started <laughs> reposting it just thought for love. Oh, like, really? Yeah. They, they, they telling me, oh, I heard this song, and, and, and it was deep. And I still I still get DMs to this day. I'm not rich. I'm not famous or nothing. I still get DMs to this day from people out in Kansas or from people yes. out in Missouri mm-hmm. or all over the all over the country. Because and of CPR. Because of CPR. They like, damn, I've heard this song and just keep doing what you're doing, bro. You hard. hard. You doing music. Just keep going. Keep going. You're gonna get there eventually. Already. Number three. Number three. All I did. All I did. Why all I did? That's that's a song where I actually found my sound. Oh, really? Mm. You know, as an artist, you try to find you try to find your sound in a lot of ways, you know. And a lot of artists don't have the chance to really sit and work and perfect their sound. Mm-hmm. Cause they gotta go pay for a studio mm-hmm. time, and you you limit it to to right. how much time you oh, yeah, get. Yeah. But I I got all my, I had all my own stuff. I went and got all my own stuff. So <laughs> when I made that song, I was really just playing around, and I had my daughter with me, mm-hmm. and I'm sitting I'm sitting in the room. I I, I got the dope clothes. Shit, I'm I'm sitting in the room smoking, and I'm looking at her. She in the window playing. I'm just like damn. Every song I make, everything I'm doing is for you, you know? Like, I, I want you to have everything I didn't have. And and as soon as I thought that, the beat was playing shit, I, I'm like, yeah, all I did, yeah, everything I did, all I did is for you. And that's shit. So that's a song for your that's daughter. Yeah, that's a song for my daughter and a song for for everybody. Oh, really? Cause it, cause all my friends or ex friends or whatever, whatever you call it, <laughs> we all had kids at the time. And at that specific time when I made that song, everything was for the kids. Like, Already, Already, all our kids was together. Like we wanted all our kids to to grow up together. Mm-hmm. That way, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? They they never feel like they don't have anybody, regardless of family. Yeah, you got your family at the end of the day, but you can't take your family everywhere we go. Right. Sometimes you, know you don't want to. Oh, Outside yeah. of that family, it's a cold, it's a cold world out here. Sometimes you're gonna need somebody. Oh, yeah. You don't know what's going on. You really gonna need somebody. You so will. that's real. We dumb. we wanted our kids to have that shit. And you know, I made that for everybody that was around me. Oh, really? And when I made that song shit, we took that song to San Antonio. We 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 went live out there. I oh, really um, everything for the kids. Yeah. If you hear that song, I'm telling you, you hear that song, you're gonna be like, damn. Well, bro, you, you keep lie. pushing, man. Keep Absolutely. working. Absolutely. You sound like a true artist. Mm-hmm. I love your style. Okay. The music that I did here. Mm-hmm. You don't sound like nobody else. You, you do come with a lot of deep messages on your songs. Uh I love the I keep on wanting to say famous. I'm, I love the rap economics freestyle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank I mean, that's man, what. Shout out to them. Shout out oh, yeah. to them, too. Oh, yeah, I was one of the first comments on that one. I said, ooh, that nigga told that. Nigga. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that was real. And then um, just keep working, bro. Yeah. Even even when you don't feel like working, just push through. We got a buddy, um, Big Homie Show. He's been doing it over 20 years. He just, I mean, I ain't going to say he just now gets emotion. He got a, he's got a lot of emotion now. Mm-hmm. 20 years it's just time it's just his time it's it's, it's not when you want to do it nah. don't tell God your plans he gonna laugh at you just keep working <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean that part. that's the best keep, thing you can do yeah and then when God says it's time he gonna he gonna shine a light on you that part you got some shout outs brother man shout out to Mike I really shout out to 
Kiki, shout out to Gunna Mees, man. And thank thank y'all for everything. I real yeah. talk, everything y'all doing. Shout out to you, Bobo. Shout out to Jazz. Thank, thank y'all man. for this whole deal. Thank you, Shout bro. out to Super Tight TV. <laughs> shout out to Baby over there supporting me. I read it. She go everywhere I go. That part. <laughs> That's beautiful, That's man. Up. Well, say, uh, give you social media so they know how to get in touch with you. Oh, yeah. You can reach me on anything at BDR Goon. Anything. On Facebook, is BDR Ken. K-E-N-N. Already, man. Say, y'all check this out, man. I got BDR Goon in the house. He one of the family members. A real super Super tight guest. guest. It's your girl, Jazzy K, with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm going to get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah. I get the low love from Big Bobo. From the front seat, not no photos.